So as most of you guys have already heard, OpenAI dropped OpenAI's operator, and this is their version of Claude's computer use agent. And as many of you guys know, 2025 is the year of AI agents. And, and you know, it's great that OpenAI is releasing their AI agents and computer use and whatnot, but just as we've seen recently, in the AI space when it comes to open source tools like DeepSeek R1, basically being on par, if not better than O1 in many scenarios, while being 90% cheaper and basically forcing OpenAI to make certain decisions like, like stating that they will release O3 Mini to free users, we're now seeing other open source AI tools in the AI agent operating field that are being released that don't cost $200 a month like OpenAI's new operator, which is $2,400 over the course of a year, and also seems to have less limitations in some regards to OpenAI's operator. And in today's video, the specific one that we're gonna be talking about is Open Operator. This is an open source project created by BrowserBase, where you'll be able to self-host this by yourself in the next five minutes with your own API keys. And this alone will be about 90, 95% cheaper than OpenAI's operator. But what's even crazier is you can actually use their cloud hosted version right now for free without even having to log in, enter your API keys or anything like that. And this of course is 100% for free. So without ado, let's dive right in. All right guys, so later in this video, I will show you how to get the open source version set up, but let's just dive right into the cloud hosted version. Now, if you wanna know how this actually works behind the scenes, like I said, you can check out their GitHub repo. All links I talk about in today's video will be linked down below. And it basically shows you exactly how it works using Playwright, OpenAI, and StageHand, which is their framework made by BrowserBase. All right, so first things first is you can simply just enter in a query right here, or you can select a pre-made one for this first one. We'll just ask what's the NVIDIA stock. So a pretty simple one, as you can see, we got our goal right here and it is processing. It's opening up a browser right here to Google, as you can see, navigating to Google and reasoning. Google is a comprehensive search engine that can provide latest stock price. So you can see the reasoning over here, which is nice. And we have step two. So now we're going to query NVIDIA stock price and searching that right here. And now it is processing. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. It didn't even have to click search because Google actually showed the stock price. So it had the vision and it was able to see that. So we can see here, the goal of finding the NVIDIA stock price has been achieved as information is already displayed in the search suggestions. The current stock price is shown as $142.62 with a change of four points, negative 4.60, and boom. So pretty cool right there. As you can see, the agent has completed its task. So we can go ahead and close this and then enter in a new task. All right, so here is a next question. We're gonna say, go to youtube.com, search Josh Pocock, go to his channel and filter by most viewed, click on that video and see how many likes, comments and views it has. So there's a few different steps. It's a little bit more challenging than the last one. Let's go ahead and run this. All right, so we are searching youtube.com and it's automatically just adding the search query plus uh, equals Josh Pollock. So pretty good that it does that. And as you can see, we have our channel right here. It's currently processing. Now it's going to click on our channel. And also too, as this is going, I just wanna say that this is even um, in some ways better than operator, OpenAI's operator in and of itself, because OpenAI's operator actually won't even let you, um, to my understanding, go to certain websites like YouTube or different things like that. Now, I haven't been able to test operator out myself because it's not available to my region yet, but honestly, I wouldn't even bother because I don't plan on paying $200 a month for something that is open source and for free. So as you can see now, we are on our videos page and looks like it's about to go to most popular. Now, it's not lightning fast, but it's also not super slow, which is pretty good. You know, this is the first iteration really that they're coming out with. As you can see here, they tweeted out recently that you don't need to pay $200 for AI. We're launching Open Operator, an open source reference project that shows how easy it is to add web uh, browsing capabilities to your existing AI tool. And this was posted January 24th, so just a couple days ago, they really released this. 
as you can see we're on the most popular now now one thing i will say as this is going is that the one thing i would like to see well one of the main things i would like to see them add is a little chat box right here like we saw with claude's computer use when you would use the demo version or even with chat gpt's open operator um, you can chat back and forth with the operator which makes it a lot easier so it looks like we're getting a sign in to confirm that this isn't a bot to watch the video but we can still see the comments right here so we got 133 comments let's see if it picks all this up okay and boom the goal is completed so we can see the total views 37k 1k likes 133 comments therefore the goal has been achieved boom that's awesome now quickly i'm going to show you how you can actually self-host this it's very simple to actually deploy this it's really just a next.js app so you're just going to copy this link right here you're going to go over to your terminal and you're going to simply run git clone and then the repo url so git clone paste that repo in that's going to clone the project then you're going to change directory into open dash operator for the project you're going to run pnpm install to install the dependencies right here so you can see it's using the ai sdk from openai it's using browser base of course cell analytics frame or motion uh playwright okay post hog and zod for schema validation okay once you do that you're going to run cp.env.example.env.local all right that's going to copy the example file and make it into a another environment file so you can literally just copy the command that's right here within the repo then what you're going to do is open this in um, cursor or vs code so i just ran it in cursor and as you can see here we have our dot example environment file i also have the dot env local which i put my actual api keys in but you're just going to paste in your open ai api key as well as you're going to need a browser base api key and project id so you can simply just create a free account at browser base paste those in and then you'll be good to go from that point on you're just going to run pnp dev all right this is going to start up the development server and boom as you can see right now i'm on localhost 3001 because i already have 3000 port taken right now all right so this is pretty cool that you can also have the self-hosted version now honestly i would just use the cloud hosted version because it's completely free you really don't have to log in or anything like that you don't have to enter in your api keys and this is really cool because if we look at some of the alternatives too, such as browser use, and this is the browser use cloud version right here, you can see that there's the cloud version, which is $30 a month for unlimited chats, blah, 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 proxy rotation. You know, that has a few different things like proxy rotations is nice, um, authentication handling. So pretty cool that they have that, but is a pay version. And then of course they have their MIT open source version right here. Which i'll probably do a video on as well if you want me to do a video on this let me know in the comments down below this is another so open source alternative to open ai's operator so it's pretty cool that open source is really coming out with all this great stuff like DeepSeek r1 which i know a lot of you guys asked for more videos on that and ai agents with that i'm going to do a lot more stuff like that as well i want to cover this one since OpenAI just released operator and i know a lot of people were thinking about purchasing the 200 a month one but, you know, if you just really want to use these tools and really get a sense of them, then you can go ahead and use this 100% for free. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about OpenAI's operator, about open operator, maybe about browser use. What's your favorite one, you know? And if you want me to do a video on a specific tool or topic, let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you're new to this channel, we upload videos all the time on AI, AI agents, marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also, too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group and Discord channel, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below for that. And then you're going to definitely want to join our Stride AI Academy. It's going to be jam-packed with loads of free resources, value, as well as behind-the-scenes templates, tools, and stuff that I don't post on YouTube. So definitely check that out. It is currently free. I don't know if it will always be for free. So join while it is still for free. And then also too, guys, if you need help growing your business or implementing AI agents into your business, whether you run a SaaS business, marketing agency, coach, consultant, B2B, service-based business, whatever the case is, book a call down below at executivestrad.com forward slash apply, and we can see if it's a fit or not to work together. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.